Hello everyone, this is Linda. I hope you're having a beautiful day. It is hot <laughs> over here, y'all. It's hot over here. But I wanted to stop by just to share with you all what's going on with me. All right. So this is the wild part of the garden. And as you can see, the Zenas is showing off, y'all. She's showing off. She's looking good over here. Everything is growing really nice, and they're happy with the sun. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> These babies are about to pop. Yeah, they are about to pop open. And they're really getting tall, and I have two more I'll share with you before I go inside. Okay. So here is my second container of sweet potatoes, and as you see, they're going up the trellis. They're doing good. All is well. They're doing good. So here is my garlic. They are beginning to lean. Maybe you don't see that. There you go. You can see they're beginning to lean over, and that's good. Finally, finally. <laughs> More zenas all over in the garden doing really good really good yeah they're happy here mm. and more yay so here is the other flowers that I have here and here is two more they are not ready yet but they are really gonna be very very tall very tall girls so I'm looking forward to them. Yeah. Yeah. And we have these babies here. And they are wonderful. Doing really cool. And of course, more zenas. <laughs> more zenas. Yeah. <laughs> Malabar spinach doing really good. I don't know how long they're going to last in this heat though. But hey, we'll see. It's, it's hot. Jada's peppers over here in this basket, and wow, this pepper is all over, just all over. There's peppers, yeah. And there's a fish pepper over here, and there's a lot of peppers in there. A lot of peppers going on. Uh, let's see some. Yeah, there we go. All right, guys. <laughs> Marigolds. Marigolds. Yeah, they're doing good. All is well. And the first container of sweet potatoes. More flowers. Sweet potatoes. White potatoes. They're all doing good. Yep. And this is around the tree. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot of things I'm pulling up and changing out and cleaning out and yeah, just getting out and dropping new seeds and yeah, <laughs> because a lot of the plants were stunted are just struggling because of all the water that uh, Cristobal brought. So even though the plant is still alive, it's struggling. And really, if the plant is struggling, um, <clears throat> it's not going to give you a good harvest. So it's for me, this is just me talking, uh, because <laughs> if that plant is struggling too much, I'm just gonna pull that plant up. Yeah, I'm gonna pull that plant up. And that is what I've been doing. So here is my purple hall peas that I dropped the last time we were together. And there they are, guys. With this heat, this heat will bring them up, y'all. It'll bring them up, <laughs> yeah. But listen, I have some questions. I had some questions that was asked to me and I wanna answer, but we're going to do that inside, so let's go inside. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will be sharing 
my zone nine garden. Yay. Hello everyone. All right, we are inside now. So I just wanted to um, just answer some questions that was left on the channel and a couple was left on my Instagram, y'all. <laughs> yeah, but I hope you all having a beautiful day. It is, you know, we got sun and then clouds. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's so hot until, you know, you get that evening rain. It just got to happen, you know, so. But anyway, guys, I've been doing well. I've been doing good. And uh, yeah, so. But um, so let me get to the first question. <clears throat> the first question is... Ah, well, anyway, she said, Miss Linda, why you don't can? <laughs> okay, so let me answer that question by saying, if you look in my videos, you see I have done some canning before. I do know how to can and I do have the equipment, but I have so many aunts and all of them can until... It's just too much. So I have an aunt that what she does, she goes back three years. So now she, it's 2018. She get rid of all of her canned goods from 2018. Those that she have not eaten or given away to the family or the family just didn't come over there and pick them up. Like I do, I go over there sometimes if I want something special and I just go and get it. But what she do is she um, clean up Everything she can from 2018, she give away to the food pantries, to homeless, to the homeless, to neighbors and friends. But she makes sure those 2018 cans are gone simply because she can every year. So if you if you can every year, and I want y'all to think about this now, if you can every year, and if you don't, at some point, start getting rid of your early cans, you're going to have a going to have food from 2015, 14, 13. And does that make sense to, to me? Now, it, it could make perfect sense to someone else, but to me, that doesn't make any sense. So it doesn't make any sense for me to can when I have so many family members that can, and I have access to it, I can go and get it anytime I want to. It's available to me whenever I need it. So I have in my home, just me. It's just me, y'all. So um, canning a lot of food, uh, no. I'm not gonna be canning all this food. When I know that I'm not going to use, I'm not going to eat all that food within a year. This is the reason why I don't can that much. Now, I do can my, I do uh, can my figs, which, you know, that's not a lot of stuff. I make jellies um, and I make two and three jars of jelly. I don't need 16, 20. I don't need all of that. No, no. So I uh, can things in which I need. Um, too much for me is too much. And that's my that's my choice. OK. All right. So I hope that answered your question. <laughs> All right. So there was two questions. Uh, some people wanted me to ask Miss George. So the first question they wanted me to ask Mr. George is, why do you put the honeycomb in the jar of honey? And this is what Mr. George had to say. Well, some people help conscious people. Some of them like to eat and chew the honey like gum. You can chew it and swallow it. It's good for you. What, the honeycomb? Yes, you can chew it and eat it. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Some people like to do that and some people don't. So the, 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 the health preference to it, eating it, it, I guess some people tell me, well, back in the day, back in the 80s, you used to tell me it helped clean your colon and all. 
Mm -hmm. That's better than swallowing real gum. You can swallow that, and it cleans your colon and all off. But, but it's all healthy about that because that's where the bees put the honey at. That's how we get the honey from the comb. Mm -hmm. So we put the comb back in the honey that preserves to keep it last longer and stopping it from uh, not sugaring, but I guess it keeps the pollen uh, right in it. Okay. And it, it stores the honey better for like, some people don't like to eat it all at one time. They like to keep it. But normally honey they found in the uh, in the tomb about a few years ago that uh, they opened up a tomb that was in the tomb for 5,000 years. Mm -hmm. So you're going to do something to preserve it. If they say they found something with 5,000 years old, can't consider it going bad. So I think eating it with the cone, I think it's a whole lot good. Yeah. All right. I'm going to get some. I'm going to go get some. All right. You know what? I want to thank you all for listening to us. I want to thank my friend for supporting our establishment. You know, sometimes, some days ain't good, but she's a wonderful person, and y'all follow behind her because she got a mindset on things that life ain't just about black and white, but life is about considering everybody being equal. And I just want to tell her, live with you all, thank you very much, honey. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> You're welcome, Mr. Joy. <laughs> yep, that's what he says. So the second question to Mr. George was, is there a difference between brown sugar and terminata sugar? This is what he said. You know, some of y'all go in the grocery stores and buy brown sugar. It's not the same as terminata. It's two different ball games there. Brown sugar is added to the thin out like flour to use in baking. That's not terminata sugar. So in order for you to get turban out of sugar, it's got to come direct from the sugar cane meal. And before they bleach that white, that would harm you, that's the best part of the sugar if you need to consume it. It goes through your bloodline and comes out you faster than the one with the, that turned white. But don't so, get confused and think because you go and buy brown sugar, that's three, four dollars a box, you getting what you're looking for because that's not the same thing. In order for you to consume sugar, if you want to eat, if you want to eat sugar, you must eat turbinata sugar. So brown sugar and turbinata sugar? That's two sugar, different things. Two different things. Okay. And you, they use brown sugar. They add all kinds of different things to it to th make it thin like flour, make to make it brown for people to use in baking. Okay. You know, so that's what brown sugar is. Okay. White sugar becomes white when they crystallize it and they bleach it to turn it white. That's what they want us to eat. Okay. That ain't no good. If you all plan on eating healthy and y'all want to live a long time and y'all ain't got to go on the dialysis machine three times a week, if y'all got to eat sugar, try to find turbinata. We sell it here. I got tons of it. All right. Y'all have a nice day. Thanks, Mr. George. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that, Mr. George. <laughs> you got to love him, y'all. You got to love him. But anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now, listen, there's one more thing I want to say before I leave. Now, you don't have to do anything I say do. It's no, it's just me. But I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to say, please don't get lax when it comes to don't get lax. Don't lax. Please wear, wear your mask. Don't get so comfortable like, okay, you know, it's, it's over. It's not. It's not, y'all. Mm -mm. You see how I'm dressed? Funeral. It's funeral. Mm -hmm. So please don't get laxed. Don't think it's all, it's all over. It's not. Just wear them. Wear them. Okay? Later, y'all.